Hi guys, I am Infi. Welcome to Infamex. In this video, I'm going to talk about combinatorics. First, we will see the rules of counting. Then, we will see the operation factorial. But before we continue, please subscribe, click the bell, like, share, and put your comments below. All right now, Without any further ado, let's hit the road. Rules of counting. Consider the following example. From city A, one can travel via village B to beach C. There are three ways from A to B and two ways from B to C. We simplify this in a model like so. From A to B, you can take this away, or take this away, or this away. So, there are three different ways from A to B. From B to C, you can take this way, or this way. So, there are two different ways from B to C. Now, from A to C, you can take this away, and this away. Note that is and. You can also take this away and this way or this away and this away or this away and this way or this away and this way or this way and this way so for the parallel ways indicate it with or we add them and for the series consecutive way we multiply them these are the two rules of counting here from A to B there are three parallel ways and from B to C there are two parallel ways now, from A to C, there are two consecutive sections, indicated with and, namely from A to B, and from B to C. We multiply them. So, here we get 3 times 2 equals to 6 different ways to go from A to C. Now, Take a look at the factorials. 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times and so on times n minus 1 times n. This is defined as n factorial. We use the exclamation symbol. Now, we can rewrite this like so. This is because multiplication is a commutative operation. x times y equals to y times x. For example, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. 2 factorial is 2 times 1. 1 factorial is 1. Now, how about 0 factorial? Let's go back. We have this definition. Now, using the definition above, this part is exactly n minus 1 factorial. So we have n factorial is n times n minus 1 factorial. 4 factorial is 4 times 4 minus 1 factorial, which equals to 4 times 3 factorial. That is, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 equals to 24. 3 factorial is 3 times 3 minus 1 factorial. 
which equals to 3 times 2 factorial or 3 times 2 times 1, which is equals to 6. 1 factorial is 1 times 1 minus 1 factorial, which equals to 1 times 0 factorial. As we have seen before, 1 factorial is 1. So, 1 times 0 factorial is 1. Therefore, we conclude that 0 factorial is 1. That's all for now guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed and understand the video. Thank you for watching. More videos are coming. Bye now. Stay healthy.